Hello and welcome to Learn English Vocabulary. My name is Jack and I'm making this podcast for you to learn or revise English vocabulary. These podcasts are graded from A2, which is around lower intermediate, all the way to C2, which is advanced. I hope you find these podcasts useful. If you do, please leave me a rating and a review as this will help other learners find these podcasts. This podcast is A2, so it's for lower intermediate learners. And today, the topic is jobs. I'm going to describe 10 different jobs and I want you to try to think of the English word for the job I'm describing. I'll tell you the answer each time, but see how many you already know. I'm not going to do the really easy ones like doctor and teacher because I'm sure you already know them. So some of these might be a little bit harder than A2, but I think you'll be fine. To start off, number one. This person designs buildings. You have to study for a long time to do this job. Some of these people are really famous and their buildings are even more famous. Can you work out what job I'm describing? The answer is architect. The pronunciation is tricky because there's a CH in the middle that's just pronounced K and the middle syllable is weak. So you say architect, architect. Number two. Okay, this person is like a private taxi driver. Rich people employ these people to drive them around. They sometimes wear uniforms with hats and gloves. Do you know what this job is? The answer is chauffeur. Again, the pronunciation is a bit tricky because it's written differently from how it's said. It looks like a French word. I'm pretty sure it is a French word, but the English have made it lazy and English sounding and we say chauffeur. Number three. This one is a bit tricky to describe because it's a job title that's used in lots of different businesses and organisations and usually only represents a small portion of the job holder's working hours. The roles that fall under this category involve organising people. The holder of this job is a boss of some kind or at least has some responsibility over other staff. Do you know what job I'm describing? The answer is manager. This one's much easier to pronounce but listen to the middle syllable because it sounds like a weak i. Manager. Manager. Number four. This is an interesting job title. This person works with pipes in your house for water and gas. They install and service your hot water and central heating system. They connect taps and sinks and drains so you can wash your hands. Do you know what this job is? The answer is plumber. The pronunciation is a little bit difficult because there's a silent B in the written form. You just say plumber. Number five is a great job. This person finds and writes stories for newspapers or magazines or broadcasts them on TV and radio. The BBC employs lots of these people. Do you know what job I'm describing? The answer is journalist. I think this comes from a French word as well. So the vowels in the first syllable are not written in quite the same way that you pronounce it. You just say journalist. Check out the transcription on learnenglishvocabulary.co.uk if you want to compare the spelling and the pronunciation. Number six is a tricky one because it means someone who gives legal advice and can mean the person who represents you in court. However, the legal system in the UK is complicated and in some courts it's only barristers that actually represent you in court, but you still need one of these people to prepare your case. Have you worked it out? The answer is lawyer. 
This is another odd one to pronounce because the spelling doesn't really match the pronunciation. You say lawyer. Number seven is a good one. I like this one because the job title comes from the activity that the person does. This is a person you can hire to paint your house and put up wallpaper and generally make the place look nice. Do you know what it is? The answer is decorator. The pronunciation this time is simple. The main stress is on the first syllable and there's a secondary stress on the third syllable. Decorator. Decorator. Number eight is what my dad did before he retired. He was a teacher in a university. Do you know what this job is called? The answer is lecturer. The pronunciation is not difficult. It's interesting because the CT in the middle becomes a CH sound when you speak quickly. Lecturer. Number nine is a very difficult and important job that you have to train for a long time to do. It's also very easy to explain. This person is a doctor for your teeth. Do you know what to call this person? The answer is dentist and its spelling matches the pronunciation. Number 10 is another important job. This person is a bit like a doctor for your car. If your car breaks down, you might ask this person to fix it. Do you know what this job is? The answer is mechanic. The pronunciation is not very difficult, but the first syllable is weak and there's a silent H. Mechanic. Right, there you have 10 jobs and some important A2 vocabulary. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a comment or a review and don't forget that you can read the transcript for this podcast and complete some language activities on learnenglishvocabulary.co.uk. Thanks for listening.